Hi Central Valley, I'm Lauren Wallace and today we're driving over two hours east of Fresno, well past Pine Flat Dam. The Kings River Trail is exactly where we want to be today. We're coming out of our wet season and the wildflowers are in full bloom. Let's keep driving to the Sierra National Forest so we can get on the trail. The final eight miles of the drive was on a bumpy gravel road, but we did not need four wheel drive to make it to the trailhead. Our hike today is going to be right through a deep canyon and along the Kings River. There are a few things that you'll want to keep in mind before you head out on this trail. First of all, there are creek crossings, so make sure that you do have good boots on. It's an exposed trail, so you'll want water, food, and sunscreen. And also for wildlife, there are rattlesnakes. We have a lot of poison oak in the area as well. Just make sure you're watching your step. hike is fairly easy with a few short hills so rather than focusing on how hard you're working you can actually relax and enjoy the scenery of the river and the snow-capped peaks. We will be doing a shorter version of the trail today and we do have six miles planned. It is April, which means the snow melts creating a higher river level and it is roaring. This is also a really popular place to go fishing and downstream from the trailhead, there's even white water rafting. popular turnaround spot is right here at Spring Creek, which is at mile three, and this is also where we're going to turn around. You can keep continuing on the trail three more miles, you'll make it to Garlic Falls, and then just beyond that, the trail ends at Rough Creek. If you do decide to continue on the hike, make sure that you're prepared. That does turn your day hike into a 12-mile trek. Thank you so much for coming along with me on today's hike. Make sure that you keep clicking around on yourcentralvalley.com for more adventure ideas. Until then, I'm Lauren Wallace, and I'll see you on the next trail.